All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the first episode. Uh, looking to get into some customization today. Um, I want to paint my brake calipers on my 2015 Chevy Camaro SS. Uh, my vehicle is a one SS trim line. So if anyone's familiar with the vehicle, you know that it only has a 6.2 liter V8 and the Brembo brake. Brembo brakes on the car. Um, and because of that, I want to do something to, you know, make my car more aggressive or give it a look that, you know, will turn some heads. So, uh, so with that being said, let's get started on the project. Let me get all the products together and we'll get this project going. All right. These are all the products I'll be using for the caliper. Uh, I went with Torque and Till as the color. Um, I have the clear coat, which we'll use to protect the caliper. And we have brake cleaner and acetone, which we'll be using to get rid of residue and brake dust. Uh, so let's just get started on the project. It is a little sunny outside. So hopefully this doesn't take longer than anticipated. Uh, let's go. for about an hour uh, I'll come back and I'll put on the Brembo sticker and then um, finish the caliper up with the clear coat so that we can seal everything in and give it that nice gloss and we will move on to the uh, next caliper <laughs> got the third one up and ready to go I just need to put some more trash bags around the car and then we'll get to spraying
So I got the front passenger side caliper left. We're gonna clean it up, of course, sand it down and all that other stuff. And then from there on, we'll just clear coat the other ones. I mean, I think I did two of them for the most part. What is damn shit? So yeah, we got one of them finished. It came out pretty good, man, I ain't gonna lie. But, uh, you know, we still got more to get done. So I'm gonna get started on that and then show you all the finished product. All right, fellas, just to give you some context, um, clearly things didn't go out as planned with the uh, calipers. What you're looking at is what I finished for that day. Um, I didn't put on any stickers. I didn't put on any clear coat. Um, I was more concerned with the fact that I wasn't able to get the lug nuts on the rear tire because of the wheel bearing being broke. Uh, so I went to AutoZone and replaced all four. Um, and this is the finished product that you're looking at right now. Once I was able to get everything fixed, I moved it to the garage and was able to finish everything as planned. Uh, what you're gonna see up next is the pictures of the wheel bearings um, from taking it to Discount Tire. Shout out to those guys uh, for doing such a crappy job. You guys are the real MVP. If you look at the studs, you can check out how terrible the threading is. Um, so I just took it upon myself to just replace all wheel bearings instead of just replacing the studs. I didn't have the tools for it. And uh, shout out to my boy, Sean, for helping me get that fixed. Um, there it goes. I'm showing the picture of the wheel bearing. And uh, here is the picture with the wheels on. So it, it came out fantastic. I just need some new rims, obviously. Uh, but that'll be it for the day. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, guys, uh, as I will be uploading more content in the future better content at that. Uh, but thanks for tuning in.